Recently, sophisticated prostheses are developed for leg amputees. Yet, they are often abandoned because of several issues. One of the most important issues is the excessive weight perceived by amputees, despite the prosthesis is weighting less than a half of a natural limb. We developed a neuroprosthetic framework that can potentially address all of these problems. Weight is not an objective phenomenon. It's the combination of subjective and psychological factors. For example, it can be influenced also by the body schema, as for amputees with their prosthesis. In this study, we wanted to see whether restoring sensory feedback might actually influence the final weight perception of the prosthesis. We implanted a leg amputee with neural electrodes directly in his uh, tibial nerve. And we electrically stimulated uh, the sensory fibers of the patient, uh, eliciting sensation directly right here on the phantom foot. After a detailed characterization procedure in which we found all the parameters of the neural stimulation in order to elicit a precise sensation, we then implemented uh, this artificial sensory feedback uh, in a neuroprosthetic leg. To investigate the weight perception of the amputee, we purposely designed a task where the subject had to perform a motor task with or without the sensory feedback. After this, we immediately put different ankle weights on the healthy leg of the subject and asked him to rate which one was perceived as heavier. We noticed a 23% of reduction in weight after walking with the sensory feedback. We also noticed that his embodiment of the prosthesis and his confidence was significantly rated as higher only after the sensory feedback condition. After the first task, the subject performed a second task, which was a dual cognitive motor task. So the subject had to walk while spelling backwards five-letter words. We saw also in this case that in the sensory feedback condition he improved both his gait speed but also his spelling accuracy. So what this test could really tell us uh, was that our neuroprosthesis was cognitively integrated by the subject uh, and that this uh, allowed him uh, to integrate the prosthesis into his body schema to accept it more and therefore to perceive the prosthesis as lighter.